We're back in the dyno. We've got Brett's Gen F GDS. This is one of the quickest, if not the quickest car in the country with this chassis. It's previously run, mate, what, nine? Nine, four. So I originally started life with the LSA 1900 blower. Earlier in the year, we started working together and the car had the top mount, the FDFI 2650 with the 110 intake and the OTR. We managed to do some dyno testing here. COVID came, a lot of track testing was basically put shut. Put on hold, yep. Completely put on hold. Let's take a look at that power run earlier in the year. So awesome power, 1,123 horsepower at the hubs. What's the combination, mate? So this combination uh, was a 427 built by Steve uh, from Vision Automotive. It has Frankenstein F310 heads, obviously Harrop's 2650 blower with the 110 throttle, runs a LSR aluminium block, Kelly's crank and rods, and that's about the basics of it. One of the really cool things about this GDS that goes quick at the track is that the drive line is essentially how it came from HSV. So it's a 6L90 trans. Yep, built by Luke from Hasty Trans with a Circle D torque converter. Standard tail shaft, standard diff, yep. standard axles. But we're here to talk about the power plant. So while the top mount 2650 made awesome power, HSV owners have been asking for a long time for an upgrade pathway for their LSA engine that retains that LSA look. So the H2650i was born, prototype on the car here. It runs the standard LSA lid. This car's got an LSA brick in it as well. Yep. We are running some prototype parts. It's got our big boy prototype intake. We've got this shield on it because it's actually a 3D printed plastic unit. We're running a 12 PK pulley system developed by Harrop, all designed to get maximum boost and maximum flow to feed the engine. So let's take a look at what this new combination makes. So there you have it, 1120, 1140 horsepower at the hubs. Great numbers, what do you think? Really good, we're only running 22 pounds boost and we've still netted 1140 horse. Uh, I ran 25 pounds boost at Steve's on his pro hub and that made 1175. So yep. it, uh, it definitely likes the boost and it just keeps on making more and more power every time we get it on. Now it's a fantastic combo, there's absolutely no doubt about that. I know a lot of our followers are massively impressed by the car. We have teased an image on social media of the Harrop lid that's got a Harrop core inside. It is physically larger than the LSA unit. It specifically suits the uh, VF platform, which the HSVs use with the LSA engine. And we do know, mate, that the, the factory LSA lid and core does hold it back a little bit. There's a little bit of restriction in there. Your Harrop lid is showing some form of gain already. So lots of new combos to share. We're gonna get them onto the car. It's known as does nines. There's no question there's more potential on the track, but until the track's open, we'll keep on dyno testing and share the results on Harrop TV.